up y'all it's your girl she's priceless and i'm back here with another video what's up hey y'all what's popping i know it's been a minute but i've been i've been living i think this is the first time in a long time maybe ever that i have felt at peace you know it was a healing girl summer but it was a rough summer because i've been you know confronting a lot of things that i suppressed the last couple months and in order for me to like effectively do that and you know heal and make progress i had to you know step out but i'm stepping back in and it's game time i took a couple you know i took some time off to rest and now it's game time bitches period so today's video is going to be a bougie on a budget a lot of people have this conception specifically my friends they're like at least you're rich and i'll be like bruh i am the ultimate finesse i don't come from money i don't even really have a nine to five right now i do a lot of different side hustles and that is how I fund my lifestyle. That is how I fund this life. And I want to give y'all the tips to look and act bougie, but on a budget. You heard me? Can I get a witness? Okay. So the first thing that I want to tell y'all is if you don't have a credit card, go ahead and get one. Now, I am the last person that needs to be giving anybody advice on credit cards because I definitely have... I have certain cards that I have for bills, emergencies, maintenance on my car, like get S and get S. Um, gas, oil changes. Honestly, I want an electric car. Like, I'm so sick of putting gas in my car. If I gotta put 60 more dollars in that mother tank, and it's because I use premium, because like, y'all know I do a lot of driving, because that's how I make my money. Oh, well, one of the ways I make my money. Um, Yes, get real ghetto. Gas is going up. Um, money bag Joe. I'm broke. So we need them COVID prices again. When I first got my car, gas was $1.23. So when I put $4 in the tank, I'd just be passing out at the gas station because why? Why I gotta be $4? I'm confused. Per gallon. Yes, I have credit cards. Um, I maxed out all of my credit cards. So I'm in the process of paying off my uh, debt to my cards. But that's how I furnished most of my apartment. Um, we are almost done. We are almost done. It took a month, it's a long time coming, but I think by December, I'll be able to give y'all a full tour of my apartment. And I'm so excited about that. I gotta get somebody to put these curtains up because it's a mess. And then I'm gonna like do the decor stuff, but I got all the big stuff. I got a nice ass couch. I got my table, dining room table. My studio is coming together. I have my filming room. Like everything is coming together. And it, I am so grateful for that. So grateful for that. So like I would say I'm about 80% done. So we just got a little 20% in. Hopefully November into December, all that's gonna be done. Um, yes, I use credit cards. I use credit cards. Um, sometimes I use credit cards even when I have the money. So let me tell y'all what y'all should be doing. I'm not necessarily I'm doing saying I'm doing this, but this is what you should be doing. So you need to be using at least 30% of your credit cards, at least 10% of your credit cards, at least 10% at all times. 30 is like probably where you should stay around. Now me, we not talking about me, we talking about what you should do. Cause I be maxing them hoes out, but be better than me. You're not supposed to be me, you're supposed to be better than me. This is why I'm here. I'm, I'm trying to help you out. We, we not talking about me, but I'm getting there, I'm getting there. You also wanna be able to make two payments on your credit card a month. Let me tell you why. Because when they report to the bureau, they are gonna see that you've been making payments and your score is gonna go up. Okay, honey? At one point in time, I had a 720. I went from like a 400 to a 720, and I have student loans. And that's another misconception about debt. A lot of people get very scared about debt, very scared about student loans, and I don't ever pay, plan on paying them back. They're getting the bare minimum. If I could pay a dollar, two dollars, that's all they get it from me per month. I'm going to fall ill for so many things that it's not even funny, but that's not even or there. You always want a little good debt, okay? Just a little good debt, okay? So that could be, oh, if you know you get your hair and nails done, 
well, I don't know because these stylists be tripping nowadays. But if you go to a professional salon where they are, you know, can, you can swipe the card. Then I would say have a maintenance card. So like if you know you're going to get your nails done, get your hair did. If you know you like Sephora Ulta, I have a Sephora card. And I also have a Sephora card because I like perfumes and I've been getting into luxury scents. And I have a video dropping on my fave luxury scents. I'm very excited about that. Um, so yeah, I have a Sephora card that they low-key pawned me. They got me, y'all. I was at the register. See, this is what happened. What happened was I was at the register checking out. I was about to pay for the Fenty. I was going to pay for it. And then she said, oh my God, you're pre-approved for a card. And I'm like, oh my God, we should get it. Like, and she's like, oh my God, yeah. And I'm like, yeah. We both like, yeah. So I got the card and I ended up putting that purchase on there and I get rewards. But I have a thousand dollar limit on that card. Will I ever max out to a thousand? Lord Jesus, please. If I ever, <laughs> if I ever buy a thousand dollars worth of makeup or something, I'm going to be my own. Like, I'm literally gonna punch myself in the esophagus because what's wrong with me? I'm trying to like dip into luxury like once a month, uh, once every other month, once my business is handled. Once my business is handled. Y'all gotta listen to that. Once your business is handled, you can dip and dabble, period. So I use my Sephora card to like, have like a little self-care day where I'm like, oh, I want to get to try this makeup or I want to try this face mask. And now I can shop on the high end of the face mask because I'm making payments on my Sephora card, making sure it's paid off by the end of the month. Don't try to carry, ooh, them inches, y'all. No. But I try not to um, carry over a balance, but if I do, I make sure it's small. So yeah, that's one of the tips I use for being bougie on a budget. You have credit cards so you can not only build your credit, but get the nice things you want, but also have a plan. Now, if you don't want to get credit cards, I got something for you, baby. I got something for you. It don't mess up your credit. It don't mess up your credit at all. It's called Split Payments. So there are websites called Klarna, Afterpay. Klarna and Afterpay are the two I use the most. Oh, and Zip previously known as quad pay. So Klarna, Afterpay, Zip, there's one called Affirm, there's, but I don't really use that one because it got like, it's weird to me. But I literally ask anybody. I literally Klarna, Afterpay, and quad pay everything. And the greatest part about it, it does not affect your credit. It will not affect your credit. Do you hear me? It does not affect your credit. The worst that happens is that they will lower the amount that you are pre-approved to spend. Now, when you say things like pre-approved, you're like, at least I thought you said it wasn't a credit card. I did. It's not, but you get an amount. So when I first got hit to Klarna last year around Black Friday, I had $1,000 to spend. And then I had $1,000 on Afterpay to spend. So your girl went crazy. So then I, it splits up into um four, yeah, it splits up to four payments. And sometimes they'll have you put a bigger down payment if you miss a payment, but I'll get into that in a minute. With Klarna, it splits it up. And if you, let's say you miss the payment um, and you don't rectify it within before the next payment, then you'll have a double payment. Now, if you don't ever pay that, they're gonna lower the amount that you can spend. So say you started off with a thousand and you're gonna start off with, next time you wanna Klarna something, you're gonna go to 600. The cool thing about Klarna, Afterpay, and all of that is you can literally almost pay it with anything, anywhere. I know with Zip and QuadPay, there's stores on the app that show you um, like where you can use it in-store or where you can shop online. So if you know you want to go to Target today, you can literally go on Afterpay app, go in the um, press Target, literally do store pickup, and pay with that card. And then you're paying, so say you know you got, you want to get some self-care items, say it's going to be $60. You can put all that in your cart, go to pickup, and you can only pay, y'all know I'm bad at math, but you know, basically $20 every two weeks. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. You can also do this for bills. So I know um, Sprint, most phone companies are on quad pay. I usually quad pay my phone bills. So I'm paying a certain amount every month. Not every month, paying a certain amount every week. Or let's say I know my bill is due at the end of the month and I'll literally put that bill on there and then I'm split paying it. Paying it. So it's never like, oh, cause I, my sister's on my plan too. She give me the money for it, y'all. I ain't a sugar daddy out here, I'm sugar mom. 
but yeah so i'll do that or my pepco bill or my xfinity i can literally do all of that and it gives you like a one-time card so to ask you what amount how much are you going to spend you tell them how much you're going to spend they ask you do you want to add tax and then they'll give you a number for a card to use you put that in there on the website and then you're done now you're seeing like um it's it's often it's it's other places that do it too like shop pay um yeah, I think that was, I thought I had a list for y'all. I didn't. So that's shop pay. It's all split payments. PayPal even got a thing. You can uh split flights. Girl, like there's so, literally literally there's so many hacks. I have so many hacks to this life. You can literally get anything you want as long as you have like a in, a steady income coming in. If you know you can make smaller payments, that's how you get everything. Like most of my furniture, I literally spent like $1,200 on most of everything in this room and then my TV stand and chairs and stuff out there I did that and then I quad paid it did I quad pay it yeah I quad paid it no I clarded it I put it on Klarna for a plant payments easy breezy beautiful no credit harmed you see what I'm saying they give you more money you can spend every time you make an on-time payment Fuji on a budget. Feel me? Y'all see what I'm saying now? So that don't want life to make a little bit more sense. Like, duh. There are some stores, y'all, that have quality food and quality brands. Now, if you're in the DMV, now Aldi, Aldi is everywhere. Aldi is a life hack. Now, I've been going to the gym. They have a lot of protein-based food for like three dollars, two dollars, one dollar. Their milk, eggs like sauces, chips, cookies, um, condiments, seasonings are like 79 cents, y'all. I filled my entire cap, like if y'all, when my house tour, I'm gonna show y'all in my cabinet. 79 cents, um, toilet paper, tissue, like Aldi is a life hack. I literally, I'm gonna insert the picture and then their um, Aldi finds, they have like a lot of furniture or kitchen goods in there. I found a three glass set I'm gonna insert a picture in it. I'm going to insert a picture of it for $13, y'all. $13. That is a $20 value for $13, okay? Okay, you feel me? So there's like little stores like that where you gotta know where the deals are at and it's still quality food. Now, if you get any fruit from Aldi, you better eat that in the next two days because I ain't saying it's, you know, I ain't saying it's the best. <laughs> So that's a life hack. So I think all my college students, I want y'all to start shopping at Aldi. I know if y'all are in DC, there's only one Aldi that's like, it's it's in um, Southeast. But if you can Instacart, I would definitely do it. You know, I do Instacart, so I'm shopping. But that's a, Aldi is super cheap. Um, Another one like, Save a Lot. Them little stores that you'd be like, oh, look kind of dick, y'all. Don't judge a book box cover because it be you you end up saving hundreds of dollars like every couple months. You feel what I'm saying? Like on season little things like seasonings. Little finds like a coffee mug or like you find so much stuff in Aldi. Like I try to like post it on my story if I see something. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm like y'all look over this. Now furniture. Furniture is tricky. So I got most of my furniture from Wayfair. My couch, I did drop a coin on that. I went to Ashley Furniture, got me a grown woman couch um, that has a warranty, five year warranty. So yeah, that hoe ain't going nowhere. Um, but I did get most of my stuff from Wayfair. Wayfair be having sales. Sometimes they be jacking the prices up when they have a sale, so it's really the original price. But you, there's some good finds and steals on there. But you can literally, if let's say you saw something in a furniture store, you could find that on Wayfair and then you can go out and clarin it. See, everything comes full circle. It all comes full circle, y'all. So you can literally clarin it, quad pay, uh, after pay, all of that on Wayfair. And they continue adding, you can quad pay clarin Gucci. There's designer on there. There's literally so many things on there. Like people be like, oh my God, at least how do you car on an afterpay? Like I could spend a hundred dollars in a day or I could spend twenty five dollars every two weeks. You do the math. You do the math. Which one makes sense? Okay. Those are literally some of the best hacks. So in terms of like where to buy furniture, Wayfair, 
um at home it's a store they have it out here um and you just gotta look tj maxx marshall's that whole trio tj maxx marshall's ross yeah all them little stores got so many gems in there all the time you find I have this huge like seven foot mirror that I got for $75. I made a TikTok about it. Follow me on TikTok. Um, I literally be trying to find all those like steals because I'll be so excited over deals. Like I, that literally makes my heart like flutter. <laughs> and then, you know, good old Amazon. I know y'all know TikTok. I know y'all be like, I needed it. TikTok made me buy it. Literally, there's so many hacks and so many things in my closet that like TikTok made me buy. So many things in my house that TikTok made me buy to make it look so much nicer here. Like even just adding like little lights on the cabinet. Like I can't wait to show y'all my apartment tour. But um, yeah. And so when you do these things, you have to make sure you do have a steady income or like if you know you get paid every two weeks, maybe you wanna hop on Uber. Hop on Instacart. Hop on something where you can maximize your income by like $100 or $200 just from doing it on a weekend. Weekends. And now if you do Instacart, Sunday is the perfect, I'm telling y'all, I'll be making like $250 a day. $250 a day. In between Instacart and Uber Eats. Uber Eats. I ain't approved to drive yet. Y'all know I got my license late, so I'm fixing it. <laughs> but let me know if y'all like these bougie on a budget. I can do specific sorts. Specific stores for y'all. Y'all can say, oh, where do y'all want? Where do I get good designer? Where do I get like that's still real? How can I? How can I make this more affordable for me to get it, or more attainable for me to get it? I can tell you. How do I shop luxury perfume? I can tell you. I got the keys to everything, boo. Cause I want to live bougie on a budget. I want to. And my thing is. I do not, I am, me as a person, I have never wanted to put myself in a box and live a certain way based off of a made up concept like money. Something that cannot leave this earth with me. Something that can always be replaced and replenished. My time cannot. These moments cannot. So don't overthink everything. You know, be smart. Don't be like me and my credit cards. You know, and I always watch the little proud family, the Hannah Montana episode where she spent like a quarter of a million dollars and all that. I was like, that little petty proud episode with the credit card went over my head. Like, I don't know, but I really, I work so hard and to make sure that I have everything that I want in this life. And yeah, not necessarily keeping up with the Joneses, but I, for a long time growing up, I just didn't have much. I didn't have anything really. Like I didn't get my first phone until college and I had to pay for it. You know, like there was just, I was a very sheltered child and I didn't have a lot of things. So like I always told myself when I get, get some money, do this, I'm literally gonna try to be smart, but I'm also not gonna limit myself based off of conceptions or what other people are saying or doing, you know? But be smart with your money. I also want to announce that I will be selling candles. I will be adding candles to Priceless Palace. Right now I sell mink lashes. I have my bank row lashes on. These are 25 millimeters. I got some for the girlies that like shorter lashes. I got something for everybody. And I will be adding candles to the collection coming this December. So make sure you follow my Instagram. Make sure you follow my business Instagram. And... Come on, I'm all about income. We we are, we we making the life that we want. We're living the life that we want. Okay. Thank you all for watching. Make sure you give this video a big old thumbs up. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe as always. And peace out, sweet girl. She's priceless. I love you all. Mwah. Bye.